Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So, just this past weekend was Nats. Now, probably by the time this video comes out, it'll be almost a week and a half. Um, but I just wanted to close out this series. I had an absolute blast. Um, unfortunately, we only went X2 and then dropped in the tournament. Um, it just it was so wild. Uh, honestly, just looking at a lot of people's results and their records. Tons of like big name pros, big digi tubers, lots of people, um, like big names in the community, all just kind of had rotten luck, honestly. And uh, that seems to be the grand scheme of things. I mean, you're you're competing for 32 slots out of a thousand players. Like you need almost you know you need to go X1 or better um, to to make it there. Congrats to Prim who did make it up there. That's really awesome of him. Uh, one of our, you know the are good people in the community for DigiTubers and like that to, to get information from. So congrats to him. It was really awesome to see him do it with BL Star. Like that was that was amazing. Like awesome. Good job for him. Um, but so I wanted to go ahead and close it out and uh, show you what I ran. Uh, I did take some videos and some clips and stuff like that. I'll show at the end of this video of just like kind of the trip in general and just kind of the fun I had with my team. Um, I do want to also shout out. Um, Jordan for letting me borrow uh, Max Rarity for uh, Guilemon the whole deck. So we had the Agumons and uh, you know the Agu Xs. Um, we had the Metal Greymons and just everything. We had the entire deck Max Rarity. So that was really cool. Even had the X antibody pre releases. That felt really good to have that power. The and I, I feel a little like I disappointed him a little bit because. I didn't make it as far as I was hoping to, um, but the power of Max Rarity was great to have for once, because um, I'm a, a, a broke little baby. <laughs> don't 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 hate on me. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. So I did want to shout him out as well and my team. Um, you guys were awesome. We literally made the trip worth it because the the amount of fun that we had. So uh, Sebastian and Dalton, thank you for making the trip uh, with me and just having a blast. Even though we didn't do amazing uh, as a team, we still had an incredible time. So, uh, yeah, with that, let's go ahead and jump into what the final version of the deck look like. Also, our new memory marker this month is Busomon. So, if you are an Angoramon fan, looking forward to the more Angoramon support in the reprint set or the RB set, this is going to be a great one to pick up. This is uh, still a little bit work in progress. We still got to get the green on the ears there. But really, really cute little memory marker. Um, just completes our set for Ghost Game. So, if you're looking to complete your Ghost Game set, this will be the final one of the three protagonists. So, we've got the Jellymon and the Gurry Mon babies uh, to go with this one as well. So definitely make sure you go check this out. It's on my wife's Etsy store, Digi Miyu. Link in the description below. Also, there you can find all of the previous memory markers, including the Ghost Game ones and uh, anything else that she's made in the past. All right, so this is the final build of the deck. Uh, seemed to be actually a super popular take on the deck. Uh, what kind of showed up at the end was basically Guilemon Turbo was a lot of the big decks that performed really well for the uh, the Black War Greymon decks. Um, the the ones that did the best though were the ones that teched in the Black um, Black War Greymon, the Digiburst Two Unsuspend. So people were going to town on that card, and that was actually probably the the deciding factor. For for a lot of these um because i went with the war Greymon x antibody as my like tech for going really aggro and um I, I think that would have been a little bit uh better actually this is not the final build of the deck uh what did i do different oh no i gotta find it now what did we do different because i know i've put in a blitz omnimon at the very very last second so that was the uh, the big change that we did yeah, because I just, oh, I, that's what it was. I dropped one, a Black War Greymon X for the Blitz Omnimon, and that's the, the only difference um, between these. So we had the Coromons for that 1K buff. Um, it kind of came back to I needed that 1K buff guaranteed every time for our Guilemon to swing unsuspend, or swing over unsuspended in the mirror match. Um, this deck, I never lost the mirror match. I, I've crushed the mirror match constantly with the, the Guilemon just because like always being able to swing over was really, really huge. Um, so that's why it basically just kind of turned into Guilemon Turbo. Um, the Greymon blocker uh, actually 
cost me the uh, a game. Uh, I lost to War Greymon X because they went into the EX1 War Greymon. This was Christian. Uh, is, I, I feel bad, but he's the only player I remember all day, uh, their name. Um, yeah, Christian would go into the EX1 War Greymon Blitz, pop a blocker, and so I'd have the blocker inheritable, uh, force me to use my X antibody protection, and then digivolve into the War Greymon X, and then end of attack, pop again. Uh, yeah, that was just really, really solid. Um, so great tech um, way to get around the, the Gaiomon and the blockers and everything like that. So that was really cool. Um, so it kind of hurt me a little bit. Uh, I noticed though that one Evo cost Greymons were doing people a little bit better than the, the blocker one here. Um, everything else there, pretty standard stuff. Um, I really like the, the went for a full Metal Greymon X antibody here, the new one, um, because I was using Gaiomon to control my opponent's field, so I'd reboot and, um, get this inheritable to pop off a whole lot and uh so that was like kind of the the main goal that's why i ended up going away from the old uh metal Greymon x antibody it's just because i was using the unsuspend effect to clear my opponent's security more than i ever actually attacked into my opponent's security and uh and then so yeah we had the uh, the omnimons here the omnimon x's the uh the was it bt5 one i think this is or yeah bt5 bt6 whichever it is battle of omni um this thing put in tremendous work. I, I never lost to Grandis because of this one card. I'd go Gaiomon, just like I talked in about in the previous videos, go Gaiomon for five, uh, put my opponent to four, Blitz, and then we use the X antibody option to Evo for six into the Omnimon X here. And uh, yeah, put my opponent to 10, playing against Grandis, and they just couldn't do it. The only way they could ever possibly out it is if they had two Grandel Souls, because they knew play one, to uh, clear the first X antibody option because I just bottom decked this to protect it, and then they had to play a second to clear it. And uh, I mean, that's asking for a lot. Most weren't even playing it. Some were, but not most of them. And uh, for the chances of them having both in hand, like it literally never happened. So uh, we we beat every single grandest player we came across just because of uh, this combo here was absolutely insane. Um, just like they kept attacking and attacking and attacking, just couldn't get anything through. And then I would attack and then the Omnimon X would delete their Grandis and like, they'd just be out of it. So, uh, re really powerful stuff. Hades force, incredible card must have for the, uh, cross heart matchups. Um, we saw in the finals that the, the Hades force is literally what won the guy, the game. And he was only running one copy and managed to see it both games, like very early on. I absolutely would run this at two still. Um, even though he got away with it at one, it, he, it was very, very fortunate that he was able to do it. Um, honestly, the UEs really never came up, but I never played against any kind of security control. And also, I didn't really attack my opponent for a whole bunch of damage. Like, if I was doing more security checks, then the UU might have come up, but I also didn't really play against any kind of security control decks. Um, I did lose, I say that, but I did lose to a Mass Day player. Um, but I swung into and hit an Ordine Mon uh, while I was at 15k of my Guile Mon and just cleared it, and I could just never come back. And it was very, very quick at putting aggression on the board and like not wasting any time at clearing my security. So it was really good on them. And then, yeah, um, also hitting into uh, a Chaos Degregation in both games uh in security when i had no protection uh from with yuya that hurt as well um but yeah those were those were my two losses was against the war Grey Mon x and against mass day as well the mass day one was a definitely a surprise i thought i would have had that one um but the security was just against me and i was bricking so you, you can't really do much in those situations but yeah I, I still love this deck i honestly even after going to nats and everything like that i would not make any changes except the War Greymon X antibody, I would probably change that out for that uh, the promo um, Black War Greymon, the one with the digi burst, because that is fire. Because you can just go swing with security attack plus one, digi burst away your rookies to unsuspend, swing again, digi burst away like your Coromons or your um, your level fives in there, you know whatever it is, and get two more checks unsuspend by digi bursting again swing again i mean yeah I, I think you could do a full otk with that if i'm not mistaken because you're gonna get uh, let's see one check and then two checks here so that uh or two checks here and three i think you're one short yeah because you're gonna on that last one you did you're just did you burst away your level fours and yeah so you'll you'll be left with 
Nothing? Yeah, nothing. So yeah, you'll you'll clear all five security with that, which is pretty powerful, but you won't be able to take the game. But I mean, still though, that is huge. That's huge. That's easy to overcome. And you can't blitz Omnimon on top of that either because it's black. Um, but I guess you could go what Gaiomon on top of it or something. I don't know. There, there's there's I guess there's things you could do. Not yeah, because you can go on top of them. That's pretty cool. That that was a pretty cool tech. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for the for the deck there. This is the final iteration. We're moving on now to uh, Ultimate Cup is what our pr next prep is for because those prizes are always worth big money, and I'd really like to grab some of those. Um, and then uh, so prepping for that. Uh, if you guys want to see what I'm prepping, let me know, and uh, and I can give you a little bit of updates for for ideas uh that i've got kind of cooking up with that the monocolor uh restrictions and the the, the temporary ban list um that they're running for it so uh, i can post uh, those as well as we're getting ready for regionals we've got so many regionals i'm signed up for three already and uh for you know, march april may and then we've got more in may uh like i think three more in may that they've announced as well um so definitely want to try to get in on those. Uh, we've got to get that invite. The earlier that you score your invite, the more relaxed you'll be for the rest of the year. So I'm a big advocate for going hard at the beginning of the season and trying to get that invite early um, because then it makes the rest of everything else a cakewalk um, and you don't really mind it as much. And, and you can just go and participate in regionals for fun, playing more fun decks. Sure, you're, you might hurt yourself on like winning better prizes at these regionals, but I think playing more fun janky stuff is like definitely the way to go to have fun with it so you don't burn yourself out um and then also if you do do well with a janky deck at a regional like everyone loves to see that so uh that's my idea moving forward uh we'll see how it goes um I have no idea what I'm going to build yet. Uh, I definitely did miss security control. Uh, I said it after uh, day one of Nats. I was like, man, I wish I played security control because none of my matchups was anything I practiced for, really. Um, <laughs> like the decks I, I would do really well against, I played one Grandis and then one Black War Greymon, and that was it. Um, or everything else was like janky stuff. Um, so security control literally would have handled all the decks that I played against. So I was like, dang it, I should have done it. I should have done it. Um, but with the new set, I'm excited for, uh, we're getting the Harris Mon, the security rookie Harris Mon is a box topper. So, uh, I'm excited, uh, fingers crossed that we can get some great deck building in for that because that card with tactical retreat is stupid, strong, stupid, strong, uh, combination. It, it's so cheap. It's literally one memory, zero evos and all that shenanigans. So really, really excited for, for, uh, security control in the future. Um, We'll see if a ban list affects this at all. Uh, Tamer Hate is still an issue. So um, Yellow Hybrid is still kind of on the fence right now. We'll see how that goes, though. Um, but, yeah, that'll do it for this. And then uh, I'll go ahead and just throw up those uh, videos and clips here of uh, our trip. And that'll close it out. Uh, thanks, guys. If you're still watching and you haven't seen already, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit that 5K. Once we do 5K, uh, probably going to do a huge give. Well, I'm not probably. We will definitely be doing a huge giveaway um, for the channel, giving away tons of Battle Ready Ink merch and things like that um, for every well, as many people as I possibly can uh, that I can afford. Uh, 5K is a huge milestone for me. Um, after that, then aiming for that 10K, which is a ways off, but 5K would feel really, really good. Um, so please subscribe and uh, please like the video as always. So, yep, take it easy. All right, morning guys. Uh, it is the day of travel, so it's Thursday, a uh, day of or weekend of nets. And uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to film with my uh, hot water, uh, my coffee maker this time, so no peeing sounds uh, to start the video off. Um, but it is currently uh, 2.40. I'm picking up my first teammate outside his house, and I gotta go get the second teammate, and then we're gonna head to the airport, uh, which is like an hour and change away. So yeah. Uh, big day of travel yeah got up at 1 30 went to bed at 8 30 and i don't think i fell asleep till maybe like 11 and then alarm went off at 1 30 so it wasn't much sleep but it was a little bit enough to drive at least so it's gonna be uh gonna be a long day but really really, really excited i think he's talking to himself it's his lie who who is on a phone call at 2 40 in the morning
so I'll stay awake because I know if I don't, I'll go back to sleep. But, I mean, <laughs> who is there to talk to at almost a three in the morning? A day. Golly, go to sleep, dude. Oh, he's up all night. <laughs> Golly, live the dream. <laughs> All these people talking to themselves. I love you. Bitch, I tell you I love you when I hear Hey, I'm filming. <laughs> Watch the language. <sighs> yeah, so uh, we made it through the, the security checkpoint. Nobody got stopped. That's a good thing. All good things. All good things. So now we're walking through the airport. I don't think we're going to make it to our gate in time. we got to make it uh, 10 gates in an hour so it's gonna be really close we're, we're really cutting it close all right so we are at little tokyo the mall here the little walk through this place is pretty sweet they got like a whole room dedicated claw grab machines there's like this giant store of just pops and they got these awesome statues so cool devil man the, the Gundam store, which I, I can't wait till it opens. It doesn't open for another like hour though, unfortunately. But it just keeps going on and on. It's a re retro store. So, yeah, this place is crazy. Can't wait. One more hour. <gasps> Card singles. I see Yu-Gi-Oh. They, they gotta have Digimon, right? That's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is right up the hill here. Pretty cool stuff. Little Tokyo ice cream and yogurt. More places to steal my money. Is that Tamago right there? It is Tamago. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at that cutlet. That little cutlet looks so good. Ooh, Japanese. Oh, this is what I'm ready. Oh, I gotta get me a couple of these though. This is what I'm here for. Some rice balls. Oh man, I get a sandwich. <laughs> All right, so we're here. We made it to the convention hall. It is Woo! pouring rain. You can really see it on him. He's soaking. Yeah, we rode the, the scooters in the rain because it was faster than walking. And uh, yeah, so we're here. Yeah. And uh, I'm fat and lazy, so I'm totally going to ride the escalator. I ha I've been here once before for Anime Expo. So it's really weird being here again after like almost 10 years. All right, we're here, so uh, we're just waiting for two more to sign up. This is Friday, day one. So it's starting to fill up. The line is huge for registration, so uh, not standing in that. We went to the fan meetup and got our free promos for that. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna hit the registration up until a little while later when that line dies down. and are just gonna do some uh, side events until then. So yeah, that's really cool that there's stuff to do in the meantime. So our mode of transportation has been these uh, electric scooters the whole time we've been here. But the issue is, rain. it's been pouring freaking rain the whole time. So we keep getting soaked. But the issue is we're like two blocks from the convention center. So getting an Uber for two blocks feels dumb. But also riding a scooter in the freaking monsoon also feels a little dumb. 